Here we are at Plex with top trainer, Mr. Ronnie Shields. How you doing today, sir? Doing great, man. Good turnout for today for uh, Jermail uh, Charlo's open workout? Oh, it was a great turnout, yeah. How are you guys feeling leading into the big fight next Saturday? Man, we're feeling great, man. Jermail is in great shape. You know, the thing about it is I can't say he's in the best shape of his life because he's always in the best shape of his life. You know, we you know, we continue to train hard, and every fight, we're in the best shape for that fight. Step so, Definitely ready to go some rounds where Rosado is needed. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, look, it's going to be a, a tough fight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to be a tough fight. But we just feel you is the better fighter. And, you know, whether we go two rounds, five rounds, ten rounds, it doesn't make a difference. It only makes a difference that Jamel's hand is raised at the end. Now, you're a great trainer. Um, you know, one of the best trainers in boxing. How do you feel being at a place like Plex helps you with your boxing knowledge? I tell you, the best thing that could have ever happened to me is to meet Danny Arnold. Because Danny Arnold brings so much to the table. You know, and all of these guys are so much better because of Danny Arnold. And, and because of Plex. You know, it just, it just, you know, he invents things that nobody's thinking about. You know, and it's all geared toward making these guys better athletes. And these guys are at the best that they've probably ever been in their life. And we're just trying to keep that in order to you know, to continue on the quest to be champion of the world. Now, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, Vera and Lada, um, I want to ask you about those guys. I mean, Vera coming off the fight, the rematch was announced. How do you feel about that going in? I feel great. I feel great about it. You know, I feel great about the, about the last fight. You know, the thing is, we, we don't have anything to do to say about, you know, that's why you have judges. You know, they, they saw what they saw. They thought he won. Well, you know, so now we get a chance to do it again. And it's not really... Not many people get that second second opportunity, and Brian is really, you know, he's really uh, ready for it. He, you know, he's really excited about it, and you know, he wants to even do better than he did last time. Now, can you comment a little bit about the fans? Because it's, it's the fans demanded the rematch. They seen it. A lot of fans had Vera winning. I mean, what's your take on the fans? Well, you know, the box boxing has so many great fans, you know, and people people know, you know. They know who went, you know. They, they know without a doubt who went. And it, it was a lot of Chavez fans there when we fought in Carson, California. And they booed him. Yeah. I mean, they booed him back. Yeah. And he knows, you know. And then he still say, oh, no, I won, I won. You know, but the thing about it is, you know, we we know what happened. It's gone now. We can't take, we can't live in the past. You live in the past, you never have a future. True. So now the future is here. And this is what we're looking at forward to. Yes, sir. Now, what do you, I don't know if you got word at the press conference, top ranks people said, uh, no need to judges this time. They just need a referee that can count to 10. <laughs> what do you make of that? Well, you know, I'm glad they're confident. You know, they're supposed to be confident in that guy. They was confident in him last time. True. See what happened. Hey, so, you know, our thing is to train hard, to work hard, and to fight the best Chavez that we can possibly fight. I got to ask you about a lot of the Cuban dominant performance over Austin No Doubt Trout. I mean, transition was awesome. I mean, I really didn't. I expected a closer fight. Did you expect the fight to go that way? Well, I think you have to really know Eric Landy Law. You know, and a lot of people, they see him, and he makes fights look so easy because, you know, the kid is just unbelievable. He really is. He's an unbelievable fighter. And, but, you know, you just have to know this guy in order to know how he's going to handle another guy. And Austin Trout, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. But I just felt that we break him down early, that with a lot of boxing skills, that it was going to be easy. And he broke him down early, and it went just the way we expected it to go. What do you What do you think your chances, your guys' chances of Lada would be against a Floyd Mayweather? I think it would be great. You know, Floyd, has, Floyd, he's fought all kind of fighters, but he's never fought a guy with the skill yes. of Eric Landy Law. And that's a big difference, man. That's a huge difference. And it won't be the most exciting fight in the world. It won't. But for skill set, yes. it will be. Yes. Because both guys are skilled. Both guys are skilled to the fact that, you know, at any point, any time, you know, you can see something you've never seen before. You know, and both guys have that kind of skill. But with Laro, he knows how to handle everybody. You know, the kid just, you know, he puts you at a pace that you don't want to be put at. He makes you slow it down when you don't want to slow it down. He makes you speed it up when you don't want to speed it up. Right. You know, 
and the guy can hit you from any angle. And that's that's the most important thing about his skill set. Now you said it best. Skill versus skill may not be a war, no. but definitely skill versus skill with top notch. Oh, God, it would be. I think you know the the, the boxing enthusiasts would love. Yeah. Yes, sir. They will. Now, uh, Lada, Cuban, um, got the amateur pedigree. Does he make your job easier when you're oh, in his corner? Man. He, he does. He makes, he makes my job a lot easier. But I work him harder. I work him really hard. Okay. Because, you know, he wants, he wants to work hard. That's the most important thing. He wants to work hard. But he just makes it look so easy. I mean, even in the gym, he makes it look easy. Because I'm telling you, the he's one of the most highly skilled fighters. I've ever trained before my life. Nice, nice. I'm, I would love to see that fight, Lotta versus Mayweather. We'll close out with uh, Jamel Charlo fight uh, versus Rosado next week. What can yes. the boxing heads expect? It's going to be a good fight. You know, we didn't take Rosado lightly. You know, we knew and we know what kind of fighter he is. You know, he's a guy. He comes to fight. So, you know, so we, but we're ready. You know, we we've had great spawn. We've had a great camp, and just like we always do. You know, we all we do here at Plexus is work hard. And that's all we know how to do. And we work hard, we fight hard. So that's what people are going to say. Well, much respect, Mr. Ronnie Shields. Always an honor and privilege talking to the great Ronnie Shields.